Right, good morning. I welcome members to the 12th meeting in 2014 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We have apologies from John Scott. As always, would members please turn off mobile phones. Uh, agenda item number one is a decision on taking business in private. It's proposed that we take items four and five in private. Item four allows us to consider our approach to the delegated powers provisions in the Food Scotland Bill at stage one. And item five is further consideration of the delegated powers provisions in the Court Reform Scotland Bill at stage one. Are we agreed to take those in private, please? Agreed. Thank you very much. Agenda item two, then, is instruments subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the valuation and rating exempted classes Scotland Order 2014 draft. Is the committee content with this instrument, please? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Immediately, therefore, to agenda item three, which is the Housing Scotland Bill. This item of business is consideration of the Scottish Government's response to the committee's stage one report on this bill. Members have seen the briefing paper and the response from the Scottish Government. Do members have any questions, please, or comments? We have done. Thank you. Do members agree to write <coughs> to the Minister to reiterate the Committee's view that it is unusual for a Bill to confer an unrestricted power on Scottish Ministers by subordinate legislation to vary the maximum fine which may be imposed on conviction for an offence? Do members also agree to reiterate the Committee's view that the circumstances under which a maximum fine may be varied are matters for Parliament to set out in primary legislation? If so, do members also agree to ask the Minister to reconsider amending Section 32T of the Caravan Sites and Control of Development Act 1960, inserted by Section 63 of the Bill, to provide that the power may be exercised only in circumstances to be provided for in the Bill? And are we content to note the response and, if necessary, reconsider everything else at stage two. Thank you. So, um, I think this is uh, one of these cases where, at the very, very least, and this is not what we're asking for, but at the very least, uh, we should have on the parliamentary record the, the thinking that is behind the current position of the government if it maintains and sustains that position. I think that completes item three, which enables me to move to item four, which is in private. Thank you. Thanks very much, sir.